Hi everyone, D. This is the week's from Butterfly Dolphin Crochet, and today this is the stitch chart. So this is the stitch that I'm going to show you how to do. This is called um, it's called the granite stitch. Um, it's quite a straightforward stitch. It's um, a two-row repeat. Plus the establishing foundation row as well. Um, it's not much of an, an uh, yarn eater, um, and I, I think I might make some dishcloths out of this for uh, my mum and dad. Uh, so I have some cotton for this. Um, but you can, it is quite an easy, um, straightforward beginner friendly stitch. Uh, I think I also might make a jumper out of it. So there's lots of things you can make out of it. And as you can see, it is quite a stretchy pattern as well. Um, so yeah, anyway, so the yarn that I actually use for it is Drops Big Merino Mix. It's 100% wool. Um, it recommends to use the 5mm hook, so that is what I'm going to use. Uh, there's 82 yards per skein. The colour number is 10. Um, yeah, and it's very soft yarn. Um, it's a quite. Uh, there isn't a multiple for it, it's just any even number. So, all you need to do if you're doing a project, specific project with this is chain an even number to the length that you require. Or you're wanting for it. So if you're making a baby size blanket, just chain an even number to 45 inches or so. Um, and that's it. So once you've got your chain amount ready, I'll meet up with you. So once you've got your even amount of chains chained, and I've got 20 for the stitched sample. Um, which that's what it looks like. Uh, all you need to do now for the row two, uh, for the first row even, is you're going to be doing a, a double crochet into the second chain from the hook. We don't count the loop on the hook, so we skip this one and working into this one. So we're just doing a, a double, like so, and then a double into the next one. And then a double into the next. So we're just going to work along the chain and put in one double into every stitch until you get to the end. So you will have one less stitch than you did before. So if you're following along with me doing a sample before you do your big project. Uh, you'll need 19 stitches, or you will have 19 stitches, hopefully. So I'll meet up with you at the end of the row. We'll just put in one double into every chain until the end of the row. So once you've done one double into every chain, that's what it looks like. Don't worry about too much about it curling up. Um, it will do to start off with. Um, like I said, it's a two-row repeat. So row two is the first row of the repeat. So you chain one and turn your work. We're now going to put a double crochet into the very first stitch, which is this one. So you're literally skipping the uh, chain one that you've just done and turn that's just there to turn your work. Uh, so that's one double into the first stitch and then you chain one, skip one, double into the next, chain one, skip one, double into the next. Chain one, 
double in, skip one and double into the next. And you will repeat this until the end of the row and I'll meet back up here. So once you've got to the end of the row, that's what it will sort of look like. Now row two, uh, row three is the second row of the repeat. So chain one and turn your work. Well then I'm going to work straight back into this chair stitch at the beginning, first stitch, and do a double crochet. Now this is where it differ, uh, the second row differs. In the chain space, that your first chain pace, you're going to do a double crochet. Excuse me. So this row starts off. So in this row, you've done so far a double crochet, a double crochet, and then going to start the repeat. Chain one, skip the double crochet or the stitch from, skip a stitch and work into the next chain space. You're literally going to be working it into every chain space. So, double crochet, chain one, skip the double, chain space, double space, um, work into the, work a double into the next chain space. Chain one, skip, work into the date, uh, this chain space. Do a double crochet, yeah, chain one, skip the double crochet, and work in a double crochet into the next. And that's what you're going to do until the end of the row. And I'll meet back up with you at the end of the row. Well, actually, I'm nearly there. So double crochet into the chain space, <coughs> chain one. Double crochet into the next chain space, chain one. Double crochet into the next chain space. And then you should have one stitch left. And like how we started down here is how we'll finish. So you've got, you'll have two double crochets next to each other at the start and at the finish. On the even, uh, on the odd words. And that is the repeat, uh, end of the repeat. So chain one and you're going to repeat row number two. So row two, uh, four is a repeat of row two. So we're going to oh, get entangled here. So we're going to start off with a double crochet into the first stitch, chain one. Skip one and work into the next chain space and put double crochet, chain one. Double crochet into the next chain one space, chain, uh, chain one. Work into the next chain one space and chain one. And that's all you're going to do for the rest of the row. Double crochets go into every chain one space with a chain in chain one in between. Like so. Uh, and that you're right now at the end and you actually changed done your last chain one which covers that double crochet and then you've got one double crochet left so you do a double crochet into that space and then chain one and turn your work. And now you repeat row number three for row five. So you do a double crochet into the first double of the uh, first stitch of the row, and a double crochet into the first chain space of the row. Chain one, double, and then you double crochet in into the next chain space. Chain one, and then you double crochet into the next chain space. So you literally just double crocheting into each chain space which you are creating after each double crochet. So you just repeat these two rows until you get to the length that you want. Just remember on the e odd rows 
once you've done your last, worked into your last double crochet, you'll have, um, double crochet, last chain one space, oh, come on. Um, chain one, double crochet in the last chain space, and then you don't chain one, you just go straight into the last stitch and do a double crochet. So you're just repeating these two rows over and over again until you get to the stitch that you at uh, length that you're wanting. It's as easy as that. And it does work out quite quickly once you get into it, the rhythm of it. I think I might end up making a few things out of this stitch. Uh, so that's it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, leave any comments of what you're thinking of making with this stitch. And... I hope to see you soon on the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.